Hey, Bassish B here for 64K, and welcome to another episode of New Retro. So, if you're unfamiliar with this show, I take a look at a new retro inspired game on an old system, and then we also have a look at the original game, the game that might have inspired it. And today's games are. And now let's first check out the original game. Phoenix was a 1980 arcade game published by Taito in Japan and Century in the West. It was a firm favorite of mine back in the early 80s arcade days as my dad and I would play this game all the time. It was a fixed screen shooter with you controlling a ship as you blasted alien phoenix birds in a variety of different stage settings. There were three different stage types with five levels overall. The first was a Galaxian style shooting gallery. The next was destroying a bunch of eggs before they hatch. If you don't get them in time, then you gotta deal with the giant phoenix birds. And the third was a fight against the phoenix mothership, where you had to blast through the ship to take out the mother brain. This level is considered the first time in a video game where you actually fight a separate boss character. You were equipped with a really rapid firing gun, which was extremely satisfying to use, and a shield for desperate situations, or close encounters with the birds, which you could fry. Why I used to play this so much back then was because it wasn't all that hard. They were pretty generous with the lives and there's nothing cheap about the gameplay unlike many games of this era. It was always a blast to play and you got your money's worth. The sound effects were really distinctive and you could always hear a phoenix machine no matter how crowded a particular arcade was. And the graphics have a real retro computer charm to them and they move at a really fast pace as well and I just love the unpredictable nature of the enemies. The game actually ended up becoming a major hit in all three regions worldwide and ended up becoming one of Century's most successful arcade hits ever. And now let's check out the new game. In 2021, the C64 finally got a port of Phoenix in the form of Phoenix Recovered by Sorbus, a coder from Austria. There was no official port back in the 80s, with the Atari 2600 being the only system to get one, and a pretty good rendition considering its limits. The C64 did, however, get a few clones as expected, with 1991's Mega Phoenix being the most blatant by Dynamic, which is a pretty fun, although way too easy variation on the classic title. Fast forward to 2020. 21, and we finally have Phoenix Recovered available for free for all to enjoy. It's a pretty faithful rendition of the arcade shooter, right down to the fact that it's actually presented in Tate mode. And I'll flip the screen here so you can actually see the game in action. If you're unfamiliar with the term, it's a feature offered for vertical shooters ported to consoles where you can tilt your monitor to the side to play the game so the game is presented in its original longer vertical mode. Many great Japanese Sega Saturn titles offer this option. As for the game, I just love the graphics. They really do capture the arcade really well with that early 80s computer look and it looks quite a bit different than most C64 games. The sound effects are completely different which you may not like as the original sound effects are so iconic. They're definitely not as good but I don't mind it to be honest and it's its own game after all. It is pretty easy though and you'll blow through it quickly but that was the style of these games back then chasing that score to take down your friends. Overall it's a fun conversion of one of my personal favorite early arcade games and totally worth a download. And thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. And if you can please like and subscribe, they'll be greatly appreciated. I'll see you next time. Cheers.